Look, I'm not faulting you for being attracted to the man. My mother was attracted to him. I, I, I just don't understand it. He, he's a self-centered son of a... He, he's a chump. I mean, it's all about him. I mean, he didn't love my mother. He didn't want to share himself with her or, God forbid, lay the world at her feet. I don't know. Maybe I'm too much of a romantic, I guess. But he gives new meaning to the words cold-blooded. And he, he saw what she had to offer, and that's exactly what he's going to do with you. You're beautiful, talented. They all are. My mother, Sierra, finds a way to get under their skin, and then he bleeds them dry. Well, you needn't worry about me. Because unlike Sierra and unlike your mother, I am not attracted to Craig Montgomery. I'm just not. You ever been to Vegas? Why? You know what a tell is? It's a poker term. It's a little tick, a, a nervous tick gives away when you're bluffing. You don't even realize you're doing it, that's why it's so effective. You have one, Carly, and it fires up every time you talk about Craig. Maybe he just makes me twitch. Oh, there it goes again. Okay, now you're just annoying me. Your lips curl, Carly. They curl up at the corners every time you talk about him. Look, I watched what Craig did to my mother. And yeah, maybe, maybe he didn't set the bomb. But what he did to her was worse. He destroyed her self-confidence. She doesn't even trust her instincts anymore. And, and why should she? He proved them all wrong. She's ashamed. She's frightened all the time. She wouldn't even talk to her kids for months. Hey, okay. all right, I get it. I, I just don't want him to do the same thing to you. Oh, please. Don't pretend that you care about me. Carly, I don't even know you. Not really. But I need for this arrangement to work. For this relationship to work, it, it, I, I'm going to have to trust you. You're going to have well, to trust me. Well, if you me. keep pounding me, Paul, the relationship part of this deal doesn't stand a chance. Okay, well, then give me some guarantee. No, give me something that guarantees me that Craig's not going to destroy you to get the BRO. A guarantee. Okay, you want, you want a guarantee? This is the best I can do. These your designs? Yeah. And these are my terms. If these drawings don't prove to you that I'm serious about this job, then I will resign. I'll give you your check back. We'll call it a night. But if you like them at all, then you will kindly remove your nose from my business and stop grilling me about Craig. You got me? I'm in no mood for games, James. If you have information for me, that's fine. Otherwise, I have no use for you. I have information. But, Barbara, I can also be of service. You see, it's very wise on your part, I think, to have cloistered yourself, well, here in my house. It's my house. You need someone on the outside, someone you can trust. That would eliminate you. Perhaps. But then again, you might find my information reliable, regardless of what you think of me. Unlikely, but possible. You need me, Barbara. I need information. And I don't care if it comes from you or someone else. It's irrelevant. You'll give me a chance. One. But if you cross me, I will destroy you. I'm not afraid of you, James. I'm not afraid of anything anymore. Fire. I hate fire. But I have realized that it can't hurt me anymore. It's done its worst on me, but I have survived it. But whatever doesn't kill us does make us stronger. I lived through you. So well, that's what changed you. No. Don't flatter yourself. It was the fire. 
It left me with the uncanny ability to read people's souls, and yours is still black. You know me, Barbara, slave for fashion. What do you know about my son? Our son. What do you know? You mentioned a woman. What is her name? Well, she's uh, very attractive, clever, not really our sort of people, if you know what I mean, but she longs to be with the wealthy and powerful. And she'll use Paul, she'll manipulate Paul to get just that. Barbara, you're going to lose your empire if you're not careful. And he's with this woman right now. You're following Paul. Barbara, even I can't be in two places at once. It's Rose D'Angelo, isn't it? She's been after him for months, though I can't fathom what he sees in her. Well, evidently our son has needs. No, it's not that. It's not that. He turns to her when he's unsure of himself. I've seen it. Yeah, well, you trained him. I trained him to turn to people that he can trust. Paul needs to learn to rely on himself, Barbara. He's vulnerable, and she sees it. She's worming her way into his confidence. First it was the trial and those pictures, and I know that Lucinda was backing it all the way. You know how those two became as thick as thieves. I just... Uh... Lucinda is using Rose to turn Paul against me. It's about, it's about the shares. It's about the damn shares. No, no. Barbara. Barbara, keep your eye on the prize. B-R-O. What about Piero? How are the designs coming along for the fall show? How do you know about that? I, I looked at them. How dare you? Now, now, Barbara, you know you know that I'm impatient. I, I can understand why you haven't shown them to Paul. I've seen them. They're marvelous. Well, I showed him the original drawings. They were sketches, really, but I haven't shown him what I've done since. Yes, we just told do is just show him them. He's gonna, he's gonna love them. The scissors will fly. The, the clothes will come to life. B.R.O. will flourish again. It's Rose, isn't it? It's Rose. She's after B.R.O. What does she want with it? Is she just too tired of kowtowing to Lucinda? No, we're just going to have to find out. We'll just find out, won't we? No, we won't. But I don't want your information. If you show your face here again, I will turn you over to the police. James.